Let's, let's, let's begin. Yo, yo, yo. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Fro Fizzle in the building. Today's review is a 1997 film, Anaconda, starring J Lo, Ice Cube, John Voight, and directed by Luis Loso. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. This one's about a film crew that ventures out into the Amazon jungle to catch exotic animals on camera and overall nature. Along the way, they run into a strange hunter, played by an over-the-top John Voight. Eventually, the hunter takes the film crew for hostage while he goes on a search for a giant anaconda. This movie gets a bad rep from a good amount of people, but for the most part, I enjoy this film. I like Anaconda 97. We have a pretty nice overall cast. J-Lo plays the lead role, Terry, and I think she does a decent job. I don't really have any complaints with her performance. I thought she handled the lead role pretty well and thought she even had some nice action moments near the end. Ice Cube is pretty much Ice Cube in the film, but it's not a nitpick for me at all. He has some fun lines and even good banter with some of the cast. As a kid, Ice Cube surviving a horror film astonished me. His character Danny was also my favorite character, so that's a bonus. Jeez Louise, there's a stampede going on outside in the hotel. Medea's family reunion is outside of my hallway right now. <laughs> Always love the scene where Jonathan Hyde's character, Westridge, goes up to Ice Cube and tells him to turn down the radio. And they go into a funny banter back and forth. And it ends with Jonathan Hyde saying, you and who's on me? Ice Cube says, your mama's. <laughs> and like I said, it was awesome to see Ice Cube survive through a whole creature film. Creature horror film, you know. Speaking of Jonathan Hyde, his performance as Westridge, to me, is awesome and hilarious. He starts off as an unlikable asshole, but I grew to really like his character from the middle to the end, where he starts being more helpful and cool with the film crew. He had a couple great lines and banter as well. I really enjoyed the Westridge character. Eric Stoltz is kind of there for me. He plays a nice role in the film, but in the cast with J-Lo, Ice Cube, John Voight, and even the fun Jonathan Hyde, his character Dr. Kale always felt more in the background for me, which is technically what his character does. He sits out through most of the film. Danny Trejo has a small cameo through the start of the film. He plays a poacher that's escaping from the anaconda, basically the first death of the film with him shooting himself. Owen Wilson as Gary has a couple lines here and there, but he never felt like a standout to me, and I'm an Owen Wilson fan. Carrie Ward plays his girlfriend, Denise, and she's the one character in the film that I never really cared for, personally. She kind of annoyed me at times. Overall, I don't love Anaconda, but I think it's decent, and I think it's a fun popcorn watch. The Anaconda has a nice creature design, and I think the animatronics were pretty well done. Is it a movie to go and run and watch immediately? I don't believe so. But if you have a lazy day and you're in the mood for a fun, harmless watch, this should do it. I'm going to give Anaconda a 7.5 out of 10. It's been your boy Fro. I appreciate y'all. And stay tuned for more. Please subscribe. And yes, sir, that's how we do it. Peace.